Hey everyone, thought I'd do a quick video on seeds and how to read your seed packets. Um, I think it's pretty important and it's something that I've learnt in my time gardening, which is a few years now. Um, and I'm going into food forests and stuff at the moment. So anyway, packet of seeds. I think that's up the right way. I do apologise if it's not. Just to run in the mill, I think I paid a dollar for these on eBay. Um, I've got heaps more as well, but... I just thought I'd use a packet of seeds as an example. But anyway, um, a lot of people think that they need to get non-GMO seeds. And that's a bit of a myth or a bit of a marketing thing on the people that are making the seeds or selling the seeds. I don't really make them. <laughs> you can't buy uh, GMO seeds. You actually have to sign a contract and they're quite expensive. They're for like your big, big, big farmers. They're not for gardeners like us that are just growing for our families and friends and food foresting and all that sort of stuff they are for the big big guys that are using roundup and all sorts of chemicals that they want their plants to be resistant to so that they don't need to worry about plowing up their fields and doing all that sort of stuff so don't stress you can't actually buy gmo seeds um so save some money there don't spend more money just because it says it's non-gmo because it will be anyway then you've got heirloom seeds. A lot of people don't understand what that means. It basically means that it's a tried and true variety and every time you use the seed from that plant, you're going to get the same thing. Um, so it's a good variety, I think, for starters. I use basically mostly heirloom seeds. I have got a couple of hybrids as well, but mostly heirlooms I use. Um, because I want to know that when I replant those things that I'm going to get the same product. That doesn't always happen because obviously, you know, your bees and your birds are going to sometimes cross-pollinate things like um, cucumbers and uh, pumpkins. Those sorts of things will cross-pollinate, but, you know, you've got more of a chance of getting the same product if you're using a alum variety. Uh, hybrid isn't anything to be afraid of, it just means that it's a crossbreed, so to speak. So like a Roman tomato maybe with a cherry tomato might make you a grape tomato, something like that, you know. It's nothing to be worried about, it's not genetically modifying anything. Birds and bees do that on their own without, you know, humans do it obviously to make hybrids for, you know, resistance against diseases and things like that. Um, but it doesn't mean that you, if you plant the seeds from that variety, from a from a um, hybrid variety, you might not get the same product. So it might revert back to a cherry tomato, for example, instead of giving you the grape tomatoes. That's just an example. I don't even know if the, if the grape tomato was a crossbreed, but anyway, that's just, um, you know, how it, how it sort of happens. And then um, obviously when a hybrid becomes tried and true, so after about 50 years of reusing those seeds and um, growing the same product it then becomes an heirloom variety so um, hybrids can become heirloom anyway um, the other myth is that you need to buy organic to garden organically because the seeds have been treated they haven't been it will say on the packet if they have been usually it's only if you buy seeds overseas that they'll be treated um, but most of the time they're just uh, seeds you know they're just seeds that have been pulled off a plant they're not treated with anything um it just means that the product say the tomato for example may have been sprayed for bugs or you know might have been fertilized with an inorganic fertilizer or whatever so you don't need to worry too much about the seed because usually if you're using organic practices um you're gonna end up with an organic product anyway so um that's just yeah another money making thing and a bit of a myth that you know you have to obviously if you're going to go into big organic farming you know and get certified organic then you probably do need to buy organic seeds um i don't know much about that because i'm only gardening you know for fun and to feed myself and my friends and things like that so um i'm more in it for the health benefits and for the garden so to speak so i'm not interested in becoming certified organic even though I'm organically gardening anyway but if that was something that you were hoping to do um, obviously you would need to look into that and see if you do need to buy organic seeds I think it's all just a marketing craziness thing but there you go anyway I hope that's been informative for you and helped you 
um, in your journey to becoming a, a green thumb. And uh, yes, I will see you next time.